been here, dude. You're on candid camera. Yesterday morning? Yeah. Yesterday, yeah, yesterday morning. Uh -huh. So, here I am. Remember me, Dennis Bow. Right. Dennis, Dennis Bow. I remember Dennis. Yeah. I wouldn't have recognized you, but now I remember. <laughs> well, we're all, we're all grown up now. We right. a tooth there. So, we did a tour of the school and uh, met Mr. Ross, right. Price 68. I can remember his mother even. Oh, wow. Well. Blanche. Jeez, right. huh? Well, right. well, was she in your office a lot too, like me? No, no, no. She, she taught in Haddon Heights when oh, I was okay. there. So. Hey, was the next block down Grady's where we used to hang out for soda after? Oh, Devlin's. Devlin's. A little De store there, yeah. Devlin's. Is that yeah, that two-story? Gray, the gray? Well, it's, it's no longer a store. Yeah, is it a gray two-story now? Looks like they added a second floor to it. Great two yeah. stories where it used to be. He used to, to sell the kids cigarettes yeah. one at a time. Oh. <laughs> I remember it. That, I charged yeah. him about it. He said it was a lie. He never did that. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, we went in there for malts and candy. And no cigarettes from me. Yeah. So what do you think of this? Well, I'm pleased with everything. Okay. Yeah, I'm making progress. How are you doing? Uh, I'm just still hanging in there the best I can. Anything. The latest thing is they found a thing on my spine. Okay. So I'm taking gamma treatment. I'm on my fourth day now. I got to do five days in a row, yeah. and I got a weekend off. I do five next week, okay. and they're not supposed to take care of that. How's that making you feel? Well, you know, I just I'm tired. Okay. You know, I just don't feel like doing very much. As you know, this lawn should have been cut a week ago, and I haven't feel, felt like doing what, that. Are you that cheap? Well, yeah, I'm not cheap. I like to do it myself. I like. No, it. I know you like. See I, all, see all <laughs> my garden here, the potatoes, the hey, tomatoes, and all that. You know, don't think I'd like to do it myself. Yeah, too. I know you would. Well, man, mm -hmm. get somebody to help you yeah, out occasionally. The, the guy across the street, Comes uh, John Gasperi. Yeah. There's a policeman. Right. He stood it for me a couple of times. And, and he's, he's from our classes too, and Gasperi. He's, he's a great guy, really. What year? What year was it? I have no idea. He's he's, he's young. Oh, a young guy. Yeah, he's young. But Gasperi's came so, from the Di earlier. Well, Diane. Diane, Diane Gasperi. That's, that's his aunt. Oh, and there was a John Gasperi, her brother, John Gasperi. Yeah, well, this is a John, too. Okay. Might be his son. Not, not the older John. This is the younger John. Okay. Right. So, in fact, it might be his son. I don't it know. Could be John's son. Yeah. Because John was a year before me, you or a year after me. This man has really good, very soft, smooth, smooth skin. Yeah. Wrinkles yeah. The rest of us. And a head of hair. God <laughs> bless you, Mr. Ringley. got the hair. Hey. I can compete with you there. I still got mine too. Of course, I'm a lot well, younger. You were a blonde when you were in school. Yeah, well, it's still a little bit in there, a little salt and pepper now. But hey, at 63, uh -huh. what do I care? I have a you question. I have a question for you. What did you used to say to kids when you caught them in the school uh, corridors, and it should have been they should have been in class? What they used to say to him? That'll cost you. I have no he, idea. I remember him saying that'll cost say you. Me. That'll cost you something. That'll cost you. I know. Me. One time, sometimes he'd get wild in school. You know what? His temper would get the best of him, and he couldn't control himself. You know what? You used to call me, yeah. Mr. Churchill. Mr. Churchill. Mr. Churchill. No, that's Mr. Chur Mr. Churchill. Come on in. Get me out of the out of the hard chair, Mr. Churchill. Come on in. What is it this time? Well, see, I was a gentleman with you. I guess you were. I think you. Li I think you liked me. Oh, I liked you. In fact, I didn't like the real goody goody kids. That was the, the higher echelon. Like the, not, was not my yeah, cup of tea. Yeah, well, we won't mention. I can't yeah. do names. We're in video. I like Basil Vespin. Wild I remember, guy. Yeah. I like uh, oh, Frank Mowat. Remember him? I remember Frank Mowat. Frank Mowat, 63. Ron, Ronnie and he Ron, was a wild guy. Ronnie Ron, Ron, I was in love with his Robinson sister. Robinson Boys. <laughs> lived down the street. Yeah. Robinson Boys. Lived down yeah, the street. The Robinsons lived down the street. Yeah. Now, they weren't exactly my cup of tea. Yeah, they were. They, yeah, Ronnie. They, Ronnie they, they, they were a different kind of band. Yeah, the younger one died, and Ronnie just died. Well, one of them committed suicide. Yeah, he got mad and hung himself. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I think it was Richard, was his name. Okay. And oh, I remember Ronnie Richard. He was, was my age. Ninth grade, ninth, tenth grade, something he like that. He was my age. Oh, he was in yeah. high school? He yeah. did it? Oh. He, he got mad at him, Child. and he hung himself in the closet. They, but they don't understand. They, they had an older sister, Sue. I remember Sue, and yeah. an older. And didn't they have an older brother? Ronnie. Too? Well, Ronnie died of cancer a couple of years yeah, ago. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, he died of throat cancer uh -huh. just a couple of years ago. How about the Lieber family? The Liebers, Martin Lieber, Randy Lieber? Well, Randy's on the West Coast. And Butchie, I don't know where he is. 
He's around here someplace. Is that what they called uh, Martin Butchie? Martin. Martin. Martin, Martin was my age. Yeah, Randy was. Uh, Randy was an older brother. Yeah, older brother. They lived right, right over there somewhere, right yeah, across right the street. The second house. Right, or, right. Not the second, the third house. Right. Yeah. Okay, we're having a tour of the school two o'clock on Saturday. When you know about that. All right. Okay, she knows. Yeah, I feel safe. Yeah. Exactly. No, no, exact, exactly. Or just meet there and then come home. It's, I'm just letting you know what's going on. And then Saturday night be the same way if you want to come over and say hello. So you cancel dinner, right? Okay. Uh, not that dinner. I'm just going to be there. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. You're going to you're going to be there. I and called you. I hope you got no, the I message. No, I did okay, get yeah. the message. And I, don't, I, I don't want people spending money on me. No. no well, I was. <laughs> And I frankly, was the one spending it, and I got it. So. Oh well, when, uh, I'm glad to hear that. Then I knew where to come for a loan when yeah. I needed. Wouldn't well, they enjoy seeing Mr. Yeah. Ringling, though, Gus? Huh? Wouldn't everybody enjoy seeing him at the? Uh... Well, they're going to. Wow. Well, I just, I speak. I just took care of Dennis in his house. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. I, I lent him ten grand. Well, you did the work on the lady next door. Yeah, the house. Yeah, exactly. I, yeah, I gave Dennis ten thousand dollars, saving from getting the house. Yeah. You already paid me back. Yeah, I, if somebody lends me money, I take care of it pretty house. fast. You sold the house and you're out from under it. Well, you know, I was thinking about selling this because my wife's in a nursing home. Yeah, I know. And uh, I was thinking, and then I sat down and I figured what it cost me for taxes, and insurance, and upkeep. Plus, I got the whole place to roam around in. Right. It would be about the same as I would have to pay for a, a halfway decent apartment. But this, at least you have this all. You know, I'll stay here. Right. You like it here. Yeah, I like it. We've been here 57 I'm in, years, I'm 58 in a big, years. I'm in a big house, but I like it there. Yeah. I'm not going anywhere. Call me out for the first. So, and, and I got enough money to pay for my wife while she's in the nursing home for a while, so I don't have to worry about that. So. Uh, and then you're going to come over Sunday for breakfast, though. Are you, are you going to have breakfast still? On Sunday, right. Uh, Rose was here today and she said she thought the breakfast would be... Oh, no, no, no. Breakfast is on. She's decided not to come, I think. Oh. Well, I no, breakfast is still on, 10 o'clock. No, no, no. Breakfast is not canceled. Where are you going to have it? Uh, at the at the Run and Meet Holiday Inn, same place okay. as the Union. All right. So that's on and, you, and you're, you're already taken care of. Okay. So you are expected there. We right. took you off the meal okay. thing. But if you decide you want to eat that night, you're there. No, I don't. All right. I, I just like to come in and say hello to some of the okay. people and yeah. like that. And we got a cocktail hour at 6, so that's when people will be coming in, so that might be... No, I have to stay away from alcohol anyway, but I'm well, not no, a drinker. I, I don't I'm drink, not a drinker I don't to drink either, with. but I mean, that's where they're going to be to begin yeah. with, so you can st start there at 6 and... Uh, yeah. Two and things I never got addicted to, alcohol or, or tobacco. No, me either. Well, so I was a three-pack a day habit, but I gave that oh, up in 86. Boy. I smoked when I was in the Navy, yeah. and if I got out of the Navy... One day, Eileen was a baby, and I smoked it, and I had to stop the car, and I reached over like that, and I burned her, like done the cigarettes. Like Why that. we're talking about his Navy career, World War II, he was in the harbor when the declaration was signed over on the Missouri. Yeah, September the 2nd. Didn't see it. Did all. not know that. Didn't but see he, it. He was in, but no, he was in the harbor. In the fringes. Tokyo Harbor, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. Tokyo How about harbor. that? And... Um, Knew what was going on, of course, and they wow. were probably all all well, we celebrating. Were, we were actually right off the coast when the, when the atomic bomb was dropped, and they moved us a hundred miles out to sea. Did you see it though? Yeah, and then oh, then, you then, did. And then we heard they dropped this bomb. Nobody could believe it. Did you? The see magnitude it? of it. No, we didn't see. It. Oh, you didn't. But see we were a hundred miles off the coast. Well, that's still. They took that, us way out to oh, sea. Oh, okay. They wanted to make sure we weren't going to get radiation or anything okay. like that. Okay, so now we must have been so, the talk of the ship then. What oh boy. was it? And what then, did they do? And nobody believed it because of the magnitude of it. Oh, when you found out how many people yeah. were killed and when all that. But it solved that. the war. Yeah. So, uh, you know, they, they give Truman hell for that, but I say I'm glad he dropped it. Now, what were what any of those battles? What, were you involved in any of the it's, it's naval tail support? tail end of Iwo Jima, I got out there. Okay. See, I was on the East Coast for about 16 months. Okay. I used to run convoys, convoys out of South America up to Boston, New York, and Philadelphia. Okay. And then the ship reached to break down quite a lot, and we were anchored in Philadelphia quite a lot. Oh. <laughs> so we had so a you were home, deal now. So you were home again when you oh, got yeah. to do that. So then, then they decommissioned that ship because it wasn't functioning well enough. Then I went out to the West Coast and got on a destroyer. And that's and that thing had... never stopped. <laughs> and then you continuously that went and went yeah, through. Then I hit the tail end of Iwo Jima, Okinawa, and the three strikes on Japan. Okay. So that was it. So I was only out there for about a year. It's long enough. But I, I miss Guadalcanal and all that stuff.
that, that yeah. was tough. Yeah. yeah. Okinawa was tough. Well, all of it was tough. Living was on tough. those ships, yeah. your conditions weren't that good back then. You were young guys and you didn't want to be at war. If they didn't do anything, they sure scared you. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> And uh, war wasn't supposed to be part of our lives, but unfortunately, every generation that has gone through these schools have experienced their, their part of war, whether it was World War II, uh, Korea, uh, Vietnam, all the other ones, Iraq, um, Afghanistan, and on our school has sacrificed some of our best to, uh, to those wars, including Iraq, and hopefully not Afghanistan.